Hello everyone, my name is Serafi and I'm happy to meet you all. And today, it's time for us to go on a Crusade. Crusadia is a very fun link spam deck. It's very similar to the World Chalice strategy, except that the deck is able to make a lot more plays. They have Negate, they have some other forms of disruption and protection, and they are able to very easily build a very dangerous board and one-shot. For the skill, we have the Legend of Heroes. Each of the following effects can be used once per duel. If the total link rating of monsters on your field is 3 or more, you gain 2,000 life points. And on turn 5 and onward, you can return 4 link monsters from your graveyard to the extra deck. To add 1 Mech Knight Crusadia Aphromax from outside your deck to your extra deck. The Legend of Heroes is best used by Crusadia in my opinion. Crusadia is a deck that it very easily goes through four link monsters in a single turn. As well, they are the best deck suited to climb up to a link four that requires two link monsters with as few cards as possible. The real question is, is Crusadia ever going to get to turn five? The answer is probably not. Crusadia is a deck that's kind of defined on the first round of battle. Whether they win or lose is basically determined on turn two or th turn three if they went first. So... We'll have to see, but Avermax is certainly worth the wait. Now, to talk about the deck, let me go ahead and quickly preface by saying that there are two types of monsters in the deck. There are Mech Knights and there are Crusadias. Mech Knights all have an inherent effect to special summon themselves to a zone where at least two other cards are in the existing columns. And Crusadia all have an effect where hard once per turn, they can special summon themselves to a zone a Link monster points to. So I will not be going over those card effects for each individual card. Purple Nightfall, you can, as a quick effect, banish a face-up Mech Knight you control to add a Mech Knight monster other than Purple Nightfall from your deck to your hand. This will usually target itself and allow you to draw your blue sky, which will give you more resources. It's a very good card. And having a level 8 that your opponent basically can interact with coming to your board during your next standby phase will definitely help you get out either your Mech Knight Morningstar or your Din Girsu Orchestra of the Evening Star. This card is extremely good. Mech Knight Yellow Star, it can pop a spell or trap in the same column. Pretty good effect, and the cost is very low. Crusadia Draco. When it's special summoned to a zone a Link Monster points to, you can target a Crusadia card in your graveyard, except Crusadia Draco, and add it to your hand. This should be a two of. I don't have two copies of this card. You should run two of it if you have two. This card is extremely good to search off of your Crusadia Magius. So... You normal summon a Crusadia monster, you link that monster into Crusadia Magius. You special summon any Crusadia monster from your hand to the zone that Crusadia Magius points to, and then you draw Crusadia Draco. Then Crusadia Draco can special summon itself to the zone Regulex points to, and grab the monster that you normal summon from your graveyard so that you can immediately start special summoning again and continue chaining. Very good card, definitely play it. Next up, we have Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. This is a Kaiju monster, so you can tribute any monster your opponent controls and special summon it to their side of the field in any zone you want. So you take one of their monsters away, you remove any sort of threats or quick effects from their field. This does not start a chain. And then you can special summon Thunder King to a zone where your Equimax will point to. Thus, Equimax will be able to steal all of its attack points, and you can be sure that you're going to OTK with this card. It's a good option. It's kind of a risky play, and there are some drawbacks to using it, but it's a free card because you farm it off of Quentin, so I would definitely recommend using this card, and you will probably see some very good results with it. Blue Sky is the primary card that you will draw off of your Nightfall's effect. If you special summon Blue Sky, you get to draw a Mecha Knight for each card in your opponent's column, so if they have two or three cards, you get to draw two or three Mech Knights. That's a really solid option. Easily allows you to go plus, and go into some sweet link plays. This is the primary way that you'll make your Morning Star, and it's a very good card. Don't sleep on this. Maximus, it can target a Crusadia link monster, and this turn, that monster, if it battles an opponent's monster, deals double battle damage to your opponent. So just special summon your Equimax, special summon Crusadia Maximus to the zone Equimax points to. It has 3,600 attack points plus whatever your opponent is, has on their field. Activate Maximus's effect. It can beat over your opponent's monster and kill them. Crusadia Reclusia, if this card is special summoned to a zone a Link Monster points to, you can target one Crusadia card you control and one card your opponent controls and destroy them. Trading one for one is usually not that useful, especially for a Link Climb deck, although you can prevent the destruction of your own card with Crusadia or Borea's Grave Effect. That's important to note. I would primarily use Reclusia as your normal summon, 
so that you can just link it off into Magius and then not worry about its special summon effect and save your special summons for monsters with better effects, especially on target monsters. Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse, uh, this allows you to, as a quick effect, switch the position of one of your Mech Knight monsters. This does allow you to avoid battle destruction and damage with your Mech Knight Morningstar during your opponent's turn. But it can also allow you to move Indigo Eclipse into a zone Equimax points to after you've already tributed a Crusadia card to negate one of your opponent's cards. Which is really funny. And will allow you to give your Equimax 2400 extra attack points, which will definitely mess up your opponent's day. So, a very solid card. It's great to search off of either your Nightfall or your Blue Sky. Arvoria is a tuner monster for some reason. There is no Crusadia Synchro monster. Uh, if a Crusadia monster you control would be destroyed with a battle or card effect, you could banish this card from a graveyard instead. That's a really good effect. It does mean that you can play Dark Hole as Crusadia. Crusadia is already a pretty good going second deck. Uh, most people don't because you kind of need your opponent's monsters there so that you can have Aquamax steal their power. But it's definitely an option if you want to play a more defensive Crusadia deck, and you can also play Needle Sealing if you so choose. World Legacy Succession, target one monster in your graveyard, special summon it to a zone a Link monster points to. You can only activate one World Legacy Succession per turn. This is a fine card, and you will see lots of use with it. Crusadia Power, absolutely insane card. Target a Crusadia monster you control. That Crusadia monster is unaffected by card effects this turn except its own, and you can only activate one Crusadia Power per turn. You can search this off Regulix, so it, you will usually just make your Equimax untargetable, uncounterable, and then you just have the biggest attack points, and you crash in your opponent, and you lose, they lose the game. The release of Crusadia Power is really what pushed Crusadia to be a better deck overall. I do think Crusadia is now better than Goki, although it's debatable. And you definitely want to use this card as much as possible. We are playing World Legacy Secret. You can search this off of the Mech Knight of the Morning Star. This is it just in the gates. You get to special summon a Mech Knight monster from your graveyard. And then as a continuous effect, you would negate any opponent's monster effect that activates in the same column as a Mech Knight you control. So if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can activate this card, get the effect of special summon a Mech Knight to the column that your opponent activated the monster effect in, and then immediately as, this, as part of the same chain, negate that effect. Very, very strong turnaround card will get you a lot of wins. Finally, we have Crusadia Crawler. You can special summon this card as an effect monster, and if this card is special summoned by this effect to a zone of Link Monster points to, you can add one World Legacy card from your deck to your hand, which will be either Secrets or Succession. Both of these effects are very good. The Trap Monster is treated as a Crusadia monster, which means it can be tributed for Equimax's effect. Also very good, so this card's fine as a one of. You can search it off Regulex, by the way. For our extra deck, we have Dengirsu, the Orchest of the Evening Star. This requires two level 8s, so you can use Mech Knight, Purple Nightfall, and Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse to make this. That is a lot easier to do when Purple Nightfall comes back to your field during your standby phase. So you'll just have one level 8, and then you just it, hopefully you drew the Indigo Eclipse off of Blue Sky, and you can just special summon it, make Dengirsu, and... This is a card that you can use to out Lunalite Leo Dancer. It's a card that you can use to out several other cards. Sending a card from your opponent's side of the field to the graveyard when they don't target is very, just very good. It's very solid. Equimax is your bread and butter. It requires two effect monsters, including a Link monster, and it gains attack equal to the combined original attack of all monsters it points to, and monsters this card points to cannot attack. That includes your opponent's monsters. So it points forward if your opponent has a monster sitting there, it can't attack. And then once per turn, you contribute one... Crusadia or World Legacy Monster this card points to, target one face-up card your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end of the turn. This is fantastic. You can use this to beat Ubel, because Ubel has zero attack points. You just beat over your opponent with that. You can use this to beat your opponent's special summon effect. Maybe they have a Crusadia deck of their own, and you just negate their Magius and you stop their whole combo that way. Uh, you can use this to shut down all sorts of starters and make it so your opponent is never able to actually get off the ground. Also, Equimax is a Link 3. As soon as you play it, you can activate the skill to gain 2,000 life points. Very solid card. This will be your win condition. Morningstar requires at least one Mech Knight, and you discard a Mech Knight monster to grab your World Legacy Secrets. That's really good. If a Mech Knight monster battles a monster in a different column than it, your monster cannot be destroyed by that battle. Also, you take no damage from that battle, and you can use Inigo Eclipse's effect to kind of manipulate that. Uh, this is just a good kind of Mech Knight backup strategy. You're not going to do this too much, but it's an option. Regulex, 1000 attack link 2, requires at least one Crusadia monster, and when it's a monster is summoned to a zone it points to, then you can add a Crusadia spell or trap from your deck to your hand, which will either be power or crawler. 
both those cards are good. You probably want power most of the time, but if you have power already, you get a free crawler. It's not that big of a deal. Magius lets you draw a Crusadia monster when a monster is summoned into its zone. This is a great starter. It's a like one. You can actually link Equimax into this. So that's where we're running two. You can kind of restart your entire combo if you go first, and then you have to go to turn three. You won't regret having this card. Lastly, we have Spatha. It requires two effect monsters, including a Crusadia monster. And once per turn, if an effect monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to, you can target one monster in either player's main monster zone and move it to another main monster zone on the field. This is a really sneaky play where you can, if you don't need the Crusadia power from Regulix, just special summon it and move one of your opponent's monsters to the zone that your Equimax would point to so you can steal its attack points. That will definitely win you some games. It's an option. It's not something you have to do every game, but you'll be surprised when it would win the game for you. And that's the deck. Let's go ahead and take a look at a replay. Okay, so we start off, we have our Crusadia Arborea, we have Crusadia Draco, and we have Crusadia Power. This means that we don't need to search Power or Draco. So we can search the Maximus off of Magius, and we can search our Crawler off of our Regulus. Pretty good opening hand. Magius Effect. Draco effect. We get our, our Bray back, and then we search Maximus. Link these two off for our Regulex, and then we want to summon Arborea to the zone Regulex points to, so we can put Arborea in the graveyard. Link into Equimax, and then special summon our Mech Knight Purple Nightfall to the zone side of Equimax after we've gained 2,000 life points. Then we banish Purple Nightfall and we grab our Indigo Eclipse, which we can also special summon. Special summon Equimax to the zone that Crusadia Equimax points to, and we have our trap. Our opponent immediately activates Cosmic Cyclone, but luckily they target our Crusadia Power, so we can just chain Crusadia Power in response and target our Equimax. It's now unaffected. Opponent activates the skill, reveals their V Salamander, and puts Utopia in the graveyard. Then they normal summon V Salamander. All right, now I have a decision to make. I can negate the V Salamander effect to revive Utopia here. That is definitely an option that I considered. However, in my mind, I think this guy's entire deck is determined to play Utopia. So he has three cards left in his hand. It's entirely possible that one of them will allow him to summon Utopia anyway. Instead, what I need to hold my one negate for is the Rank Up Magic Limited Variance Force that he's going to activate. Because I know as soon as he activates that card, I negate that card. That card's not coming back for the rest of the turn. So I decide to allow the V Salamander to go through. My opponent sees through my play and does not use Rank Up Magic Limited Variance Force. Instead, he goes into Chaos Number 39, Utopia Ray. And then into S39, Utopia the Lightning. These cards don't scare me. So S39, Utopia the Lightning could battle against my Equimax and use its effect to gain attack points. However, I have Arborea in the graveyard. So my Equimax would not be destroyed. I would only take 1400 damage and I would be able to just turn around and kill my opponent. Then my opponent decides to activate Reinforcement of the Army. And at this point, I have to think about my options. My opponent only has two cards left in their hand. So I make an assessment that I believe this is the last card they intend to activate this turn. So I go ahead and negate it with my Equimax. I am proven correct as I am immediately given the warning that my opponent is going to go into the battle phase. So before that happens, I activate Crusadia Crawler to special summon to the zone Equimax points to, which allows me to draw my World Legacy Succession. My opponent destroys my Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse, which doesn't bother me. My turn starts, and I immediately get my Mech Knight Purple Nightfall back, which I will then banish so that I can draw my Blue Sky. My opponent has perfectly set up Blue Sky Towers for me for some reason, even though he knows I'm playing Mech Knights. Now I get to draw two more cards. I link off my Crusadia... Max, in order to get my Magius back out so that I can start 
making some plays again. Then I activate World Legacy Succession to bring back my Draco so that I can use its effect as well. Get myself more pluses. Now I link these two off into Crusadia Spatha to give myself some room. And then I link all these monsters away into an Equimax. And now I can just special summon Equ Crusadia Maximus to the zone that Equimax points to. Activate Crusadia Maximus' effect, which makes it so that I would deal double damage. I attack over the V Salamander for lethal. My opponent knows this and surrenders. There you go. Very high power, very easy ways to play negates to influence your opponent's turn. The Mechanite package places a lot of additional strain and pressure on your opponent. Play this deck. It's a lot of fun. My name is Serapi, and I was thrilled to have you all with me.